Hello, I'm joined by my guests today, the Brothers Bulldog. So I've got Matt Bulldog and Neil Bulldog. How are you doing, guys? Very well, David. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm doing really well. And today we're going to talk about the HMO network. For those people on a really sort of basic level who don't deal with HMOs, when you mention the word HMO, they just hear headache, right? Because it, it's something that they... They don't want to manage. They don't know how to manage. They don't need. To, they don't know how to deal with it. And it's really become a a field of almost speciality in in some ways. Um, can you explain how you came up with the concept of the HMO network and the sort of people that you guys help? Yeah, definitely. So um, you're quite right. As soon as uh, people hear the word HMO, they uh, turn around and start running a mile. And um, it's something that um, we've specialised in since we, since we've ever, uh, you know, since for the last eleven years since we launched our own agency, um, because we identified that basically there's money where um, others don't want to do the work, and we were willing to, and so um, you know we see it much like when we were very first estate agents and a landlord would walk in and we were we were sales agents and a landlord would walk in and we would say, oh, let him sit up the back, mate, and then turn our back. Um, and that doesn't happen anymore. When a landlord comes in, of course, we all roll the red carpet out because now agents actually want lettings businesses. And I see that as kind of the future progression that will happen with HMOs. Uh, it just hasn't happened yet where people eventually they'll see that that is a, a market. It's not a market that's going anywhere. Um, and actually, it's a market that's growing with everything that's going on in the housing market. People need shared accommodation. It is. And I think that that's the key to it. The, the figures and the statistics and go on about them every month. But the rental market, there's obviously been a marked increase in, in rents generally across the board. But also demand doesn't seem to ever dissipate. So if you gave me um, 10 properties to let, we'd always let, I could let 20 of them. Um, there's, there's always more mouths to, to, to sort of feed, but people that need homes. But, and I think where that is, is probably most prevalent are the sort of people who will rent in, in HMO um, style occupancy because it brings down their overall cost. It gives them a definable kind of monthly rent that they have to pay so they can manage their outgoings it will become the future. You, you, you will also find, if you, if you if you ever privileged enough to speak to a right wing threat, um, which, we, which, we, which we were, um, bills included is actually, I think, either the top or the second top search term now on, on the, the letting property. So it really is a, an area of, of growth. Um, and the quality, which is what the HMO network is trying to do, the quality of these rooms um, is just fantastic now. You know, I like to do like an Airbnb, or a hotel style, but with the security of, of a proper tenancy. So it, it's definitely an area that isn't as much of a headache as it, as it used to be. It's better quality properties, but it's going to be one that there's a need for. There's going to be plenty of tenants wanting this all inclusive living. So I know all your clients are special in their own way, right? But if you could come up with the, the perfect generic kind of client for this service, what do they look like? Yes, I think uh, the network is about, it's a quality network. So it's about people that want to do things properly. So um, all of our, our members, they're, they're, um, yeah, they're legitimate agents. They've all got a good looking brand. Um, they've all got all the right accreditations, insurances, professional indemnities, um, client money protection, etc. So this is a network for good quality, legitimate agents and people that want to get into uh, an HMO business and grow that so um we've got everything from one or uh you know sort of one man or lady bands um right up to um you know people like us with teams of staff and, and managing hundreds of properties as well so it's really a network for anybody who who is interested in or um already specializes in hmo management I think Neil's feeling was that it was a, an area that was really underrepresented. So you've got the Guild Federation of Independent Agents Relocation. You know, there's all these different bodies for sales and letting agents, but none representing the HMO agents as well. So that was something that we kind of wanted to create. Yeah. 
No, and I think it's absolutely needed. And it it's it's there are strength in numbers, really, isn't there? And it can be a it can be a lonely space to operate in um sometimes. And and you do need that support. You need the advice and the encouragement. And if you've encountered a particular situation, well then perhaps maybe I have as well, and I can sort of give you my insight on that. So it's interesting that you've got a a, a group of almost like-minded people that have a similar level of service. Um, and want to really sort of promote HMO living, if you like, to a level that it, it it's no longer sort of the the dirty relative of 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 the Lettings family. It's actually a fully fledged superstar. Yeah, and, and, and also collaboration is key, right? So you're a, a big advocate of this in, in what I call traditional agency, David. Yeah, you know as well as I do that the only way we're going to improve this industry is by collaborating. But the sales agents in particular, we've, we've brought that mindset that that person is the enemy. We, you do find that even I've been, you know, thrown away with it just from the WhatsApp group we've got, that these HMO agents are so willing just to help each other. Um, and you're right, someone will put in the group, listen, I've got this bit of an issue and I'll deal with it. And three or four answers come flooding in, you know, they don't, they, there's no money in it for them. They're offering to show people templates of, of contracts and, and really just share the, the knowledge base because they understand. And this is, I think, the key, who we want for the HMO network is agents that understand the key to us improving individually is us improving all together. Together, yeah, as a collective. Uh, I, I obviously believe in that very strongly, um, but we here at Kapopal also b believe in it. And and I think that the way we learn nowadays is, is very different because we've got the resources to be able to share our knowledge and perhaps we're breaking down those barriers you know in, in the old days you'd be scared about giving away your trade secrets to a possible competitor even if they were on the other side of the country but i think now we understand that we've got more to gain than we have to lose in sort of um sharing that knowledge which leads me very nicely onto um Kapuffel campus because obviously that is an online learning management platform where on there we're pooling not just structured learning courses but also um tips tricks hints um lessons life lessons from um suppliers and people in that space and i'm, I'm very happy to say that you guys have, have joined us on that and you are also giving the the best of your and, and the benefit of your knowledge that you've acquired over these years um into that into that environment and in, in turn i think you're your HMO network get to um, get to enjoy it as well as a as a member benefit. Um, how do you see that sort of um, flourishing in the future? Yeah, I think um, you know tra training and development, um, sort of no matter what sector of our industry you're in, is obviously uh, you know it's key to people growing their business and operating um you know and operating good good businesses with well-trained staff so yeah we were really delighted that we've been able to offer that as a, a member benefit as part of their membership to the hmo network they get access to the campus so they've got all the industry leading trainers um that they can they can have access to and um yeah we'll we're looking forward to putting our content on there as well so that other agents can um, can kind of share in the knowledge that we've built up over the years I yeah, think. no, it, it's superb. I was with a group of agents yesterday, and and it's amazing. I couldn't, I could not envisage having an environment where agents are falling over themselves almost to sort of share as much of their resources and and knowledge. Um, but there are no losers in that game at all. I think everybody gets to sort of up the the standard of what we do, and and at the end of the day. We're going to end up changing this industry, not just by being nicer to each other, but also by um, vastly improving the customer experience on every single level of our industry. Because sometimes we're guilty of only concentrating on landlords or sellers and not treating buyers and tenants correctly. But actually now there seems to be a universal push to try and sort of up that level of service. Yeah, 100%. And it's, I think, something that we were really conscious um, that with the HMO network, while there is a cost to be a member, we didn't want it just to be, we just take a moment, we want to give as much value back as possible. And we think the Kafuffle Campus is a really good resource. So we're delighted to be able to offer that to the, the members of free. And also, you know, it, it's an honour for Kafuffle to ask us to, to be part of that, really. I think um, it, it's 
hats off to Fuddle to a certain extent because you've got some really good trainers on there. You've got some of the really big established names, but I do believe you're looking forward at some different names. And look, am I the most polished speaker in the world? Do you want my videos? No. Well, I, I'm trying my hardest not to throw a few Fs in at, 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 at the moment. It, it, you know, it's one of them. But um, I believe, um, and, and the feedback is, you know, I, I'm a big believer in best practice um, and doing things the right way and playing the long game, having that kind of interim mindset. Um, and I'm really delighted to share some of that. Neil um, is, in my view, um, just the expert on HMOs. Um, it's something that a lot of people won't really know about, so he can share his knowledge on that, the legislation, the laws, as well. but also on the business side of things. So, you know, he's just done a podcast, um, for, uh, sorry, a, a webinar for free with, with our accountant, just talking about the basics of cash flow and the business accounts. Um, and that's something that I think, you know, people can draw up his knowledge for as well. So it will be slightly different training, if you like, but I think it, it shows that Kerfuffle is willing to look at everything from a different angle. I, I think that that's absolutely true. And I, I think what we've learned from talking to some of the industry's brightest and and, and those people that pa care about it and are passionate about what, what they do, um, you can learn from it anybody it, you don't need to be the most eloquent speaker in the world you don't need to be a, a university lecturer to in, in order to be able to pass that knowledge on and and so many of us learn what we know through trial and error um and that's the only way you get to you know there's there's no course in the world that could teach you some of the some of the lessons that life serves you up as a result of interactions with customers for instance over years so if you could, if the only shortcut to it is to talk to somebody else who's been through it. And um, we're delighted to have you on board and we're, we're, we are really happy to be working with you on this. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the club. Thank you. That's, all right, take care. Bye. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bye bye. bye.